Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can remove your item from the cart. So in the previous video, we learned how you can add it in your local storage. In this video, I will show you how you can remove it. Like you don't want to have all of them in your bag and there sh should be no way to remove them. So none of your customer want that. So they want to have the, the option to remove an item from the cart. So let's see how you can do that one. So I will show an X icon here and then we will see how you can do that one. So I will open the mini card and here is the title. I will come beside the title and we will use the span tag here and I will put an X here. For now, I let's give it a little bit of closing and I will say flood to right. That is a bootstrap class. If I come here and refresh our page so if i view the card here it is it is showing here now let's add a click even to this one at click so basically there is two way you can do that one you can write a function here let's say remove item and then you can write your function in your component directly here and your let's say you can duplicate this one and create another function called remove item and then you can call your mutation from your store so what i'm going to do is before i write anything here let's leave it empty let's write our function to remove an item from the product i will open the store.js and here is the mutation i'm going to write this is going to save the data and the other one should remove it i'm going to call it remove from cart and you know this is going to accept two parameters always the first parameter is going to be state from where you want to remove those data we have to have our state the next one which item we want to remove so that's why you pass two parameters here and now how you are going to find out which item you want to remove first of all you know you have your state here right this is the cart and in the previous video we learned like how you can find it you can use find you can find it and it, then you can remove it you have push here so there is one more function in javascript that is called index of index of is going to find the position of your array uh, your array in item so let's see how you can do that one i'm going to say let item equal to state dot cart dot index of and now inside this one I will put the item and what this is going to do is this is going to find the index of your item in your state the state is going to be the array of our all all our court uh, information now it will find it and it will store it in the item what I can do is I can splice it you know splice in JavaScript it is going to accept two parameter and let's for example say item that slice splice or slice there is two slice and splice there is a little differences you can google it and find w what is the difference but i will use the splice and the first parameter is going to be a number the starting point and the second one is going to be the finish point splice this if you say one to ten to three it is going to uh, remove index uh, array from one to three so for us what we are going to remove first of all the number is starting it is going to be the item and the ending number is going to be one it means just remove one item the one you found so if i save it for now and let's see if this is working let's call it from our item here so this time i will say on click you should call this function from mutation or this mutation so how you can call it if you check out the example we have here if you set this dot dollar sign store right you set this dot dollar sign store dot state dot cart you might think okay so far that's good we say state dot cart and if i say state dot mutation or state dot add to cart it should work but this is not going to work like that so for example if i try it i say state dot commit this is how you are going to call a mutation right and now what you can write it down here is remove 
I will hide the sidebar so it should be visible from cart and this is the function name the second parameter is going to be the data you are going to send for the commit if you think this is going to work it shouldn't work so if I come here first of all the item here we have duplicate of this one in the store there is not uh, an issue so I will come down here let's just change this variable because we have item 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 so I will come here and say index this should be also index and this one should be state.cart because we are going to reference our array and say just remove the one which start the position of index which is the item we are sending so I will save it for now and let's come to the code everything looks to be right here and it reload our page let's view the card and if we click on this icon here it's going to give you the error of store is null if you get this one you come here this is not how you will call it you should remove this when you are calling directly uh, from your component so it should have the dollar sign and it should be inside the quote and this is how you can call any mutation or commit a mutation you don't have to write this if you save it this time coming to our application I will remove this stuff and this time if I click on this one it can remove it from the cart successfully it can remove this one and if you are wondering if it is working or not just refresh your page and see if you still you have those items in your cart or not you come here you still have them in your cart it did remove it but it didn't save it so the last thing if I come here that's why I create another function called save it should save data it remove it from the state here from the state we have here but it never save it to the local storage the new data so how you do that one you can say this dot commit the same way as you did here so you can copy this function call and you can paste it here I don't need this one so this time if I save it coming to our application it should refresh itself and let's remove this one and I will view the card remove it it did remove two of them and if I refresh this time let's see if it works we refresh the page view the card yes it works successfully and it removed those data from our local storage data here now we have only one product and it is showing here if you go to the checkout here you go you have only one product and that button should be displayed in your checkout also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one and I will open the checkout component which is in the view checkout.view and here is the title I will paste it here so it should work just fine for this one I will save it coming to here and here is the X icon remove it yes it did remove successfully from your cart and if I come back let's add a few more here and you can have a quantity modifier like increasing the number of item here but you can click on this one also so that is what you can do I think I will add two of them now you can come this one is the quantity is three this one is two now in the total price I'm going to do behind the scene I'm going to do a little calculation based on the value you have here like you know how you can go get this information so you can display them here of course you have to use computer property for the total price and after you have total price you can have your stripe checkout at the same page or you can create another page I will uh, I'm going to show you how you can do that one also there are some other cool stuff you have to know like if user want to have the store their information like um, their address as well as some of the checkout information or not in database or they want to just check out using a guest user those are the things we are going to discuss in the future video so I hope it has been informative thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video